I didn't really know about my family's financial circumstances until I was applying for college. I asked my parents, how are we going to pay for college if I don't get the scholarship? They didn't really have an answer for me at the time. They said they would figure out a way, but I think it involved a lot of like loans and borrowing money from family members from Taiwan. My mom and dad came to the United States in the late 90s. I was only eight months old with only 15 bucks that they borrowed from a family member back home and have been able to make a life for themselves here. Education has always played a really important role in my life. So growing up on the south side of Chicago, I was able to see the inequities firsthand. My biggest cheerleaders were always my mother, grandmother, and grandfather, from taking me to practices, making me breakfast, lunch, and dinner, cheering me on at meets and at games, always there for my highs and always there for my lows. They definitely always try to give everything and all that I've ever asked for, but it really hit me sophomore year of high school as I was knowing I wanted to go to college, just how expensive college could be. I wanted to be the first person in my family to pursue higher education. When I got the letter, I was with my mom. I checked my email and it said, um, your decision has been out. So I was like, okay, this is, this is it. My mom was immediately like, did you get in? Did you get in? Did you get in? And I was like, mom, I got in. <laughs> but we hadn't even looked at the financial aid decision yet. So I was still like holding her hand and still nervous because even if I got in and the financial aid was not enough, we would have to email them saying, I'm sorry, but I can't do this. I checked the financial aid decision and it was amazing. It was a really great moment. My dad said, if we saved every single penny of our entire yearly salary, your mother and I, we wouldn't have been able to afford one year. And that hit me about the role of financials in life and also just how blessed and fortunate I've been to come to a university that values experience and the dreams of a young individual that they saw potential in. What I love about WashU is I love the people. I'm on the track team, I do sprints and hurdles, and the track team is such a great community. My teammates are always people that I knew I could lean on, no matter how big or how small. The opportunity to have great academics as well as great athletics. It's a reason that in the athletic department we call ourselves scholar champions. My major in political science is definitely connected to my family just because of the sheer reality of my family and I immigrating from a war-torn country to the United States. For me, WashU has one of the best set of professors in the political science department across the country. They've always challenged me to explore new ideas, to connect the ideas I'm learning to my own past, but also most importantly to the future. I always knew that I was interested in sciences, especially because I want to be a physician in the future. And I always was interested in um, like cultures and different backgrounds because of the town I lived in. But when I started WashU, I took intro psychology. It just seemed that um, fate led me to the psychology department. My post-graduation dream is to go to law school so I can help fight for a more equitable education system. The support that I have received from every single education professor that I have had is something that I'm very grateful for, and they have helped me excel in my classes, but has also helped me excel in the track. Part of my decision to become a doctor has been influenced by my family situations, like the economic situation of Flushing, my hometown. So I would want to definitely work in Flushing and to have like a free health clinic when I become um, experienced enough. What sets WashU apart from other universities is that we're our own group of people. We can hit the books hard and we can hit the research and change the world from within the classroom, but it's outside the classroom. It's the diversity of the students from across the country, the globe, from different experiences that really give it that extra value that I really feel that I couldn't find in any other campus. I came from a background where I didn't think I would go to a college like WashU. People like me really always dream about having this opportunity. When you actually get here, you realize it's like better than what you could have dreamed of. and so much more fulfilling and teaches you so much more life lessons than what you expected. 
I don't think there's any words for how thankful I am to have this opportunity to go to WashU. With the generosity of WashU scholarships, not having that financial burden, as an undergraduate, it makes me more willing to take that risk and take that jump to go into law school. I hope I really amounted to what you saw your financial donation going towards. I know for me, it's changed my life. It changed the trajectory of my future generations of the Sarek family. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to have these four years of college here at WashU. I really don't know what would have happened if I didn't receive the scholarship, so I'm really, really grateful. You helped me dream bigger. You made what I thought was impossible become reality. And to you all, I say thank you. I hope I made you all proud, and I appreciate your support.